Hello and welcome to section 5.4. We're going to spend two days on it. I could probably do this video in one day, but uh, just with all of the uh, special centers, I like to kind of go a little bit slower and uh, let you guys kind of process these center points. So here's the answers for 5.3. You probably had to do Pythagorean theorem a couple times within your homework to figure out some of those values for the, the distance from the in center to the, uh, the side of the, the triangle. And then here's the proofs. You had to prove that DB and BC or DB is equal to DC. Um, basically, you have right angles here. You have uh, a reflexive side here. So these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side. And then CPCTC says that DB and DC are the same. So just triangle proofs. And then this one here to show that AD bisects BAC. Again, you have right angles there. You have BD is congruent to DC. You have a reflexive side here. So this one's HL. Then you state that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 by CPCTC. And then that makes AD by the bisector uh, BAC. And that is the definition of an angle bisector. So just one more step after the CPCTC part. So those should have been pretty straightforward triangle proofs for you guys. And then we're gonna we're gonna do we can do this um, in class. Okay, so we're gonna talk about medians now. Okay, so let's talk about what a median is first. Okay, so we have a triangle here. A median is kind of like a mid-segment, but it's a little bit different. So a median goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side of the triangle. So each triangle has the three vertices, it has three midpoints because it has three sides. And I'm just trying to draw this as closely as I can without doing any actual measurements. Okay, so I got pretty close there. They're going to meet at this point right here called the centroid. And the centroid is kind of interesting because it is the center of gravity of the triangle. So it's, it's a new type of center again. And there's a relationship between the different parts of the medians. And we'll get into that in a little bit here. Okay, so a median of a triangle is a segment from the vertex to the midpoint on the opposite side. The three medians of a triangle are concurrent. So it's another point of concurrency. We've been talking about those. This is our third one now. The point of concurrency is called the centroid. It is always inside the triangle. And this is, this, like I said, it's the center of gravity. You can balance, if you put that, if you cut out a triangle and find that point there, you can balance that like on the tip of an eraser of a pencil or something. Um, and we're going to actually do that in class uh, when we do our constructions. We're going to construct the centroid and then we're going to cut it out and we're going to see that it actually is the center of gravity. Okay, now here is the relationship that I was talking about. Uh, there's a lot going on here. The medians of a tri triangle intersect at a point that is two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So what that means, so this is our median right here. This is the centroid right here. This, this distance here is x. This is two-thirds of x, and this is one-third of x. So an example would be, let's say that this is 30, then this would be 20, two-thirds of 30 is 20, and this would be 10 there. And that's what you're going to be doing today in a lot of your problems. Now, you're going to also notice that this one here, I'll do this again. I'm going to go back here. This one is always going to be double this one or half of that one. Uh, so, for, sorry, let me say that again. From the vertex to the centroid is always going to be double the length of the centroid to the side. Um, or vice versa, this will be half of this value here. So there's all these relationships. You're going to play around with them when you're homework. You're going to see them, but that's kind of the, the gist of this. So here's your relationships. And it was for all, all three of these things are identical, by the way. So if you think they're redundant, it's because they are redundant. Okay. Uh, let's see. It gives us some values, and they want us to find the coordinates of the centroid. So I plotted those points already. And then I was going to make a triangle here. So the centroid has to 
I gotta find the midpoint of one of these here. Um, so I'm gonna use the I'm gonna find the midpoint of this side length here. So six comma one. I'm gonna find the midpoint of six one and four. Is it four nine? Yeah, four nine. Okay, so the midpoint here, uh, applying my midpoint formula, six four divided six plus four divided by two, and then one plus nine divided by two. So that'd be five comma five. Oh, that's cool. All right, so five comma five. We're going to plot that midpoint. That is right here. Okay, so if I go from here to here, that is one, two, three units long. Okay, and I need a one-thirds, two-thirds relationship. So this point right here, if I divide that, that is going to be two-thirds of three. This will be one-thirds of three. So that point right there is going to be my centroid at four comma five. All right. This is these are these are good questions to practice those relationships. Uh, there are three paths through a triangular park. Each path goes through the midpoint of one edge to the opposite corner. The three paths meet at point P. So since they're meeting from the the vertex of the midpoint, this P is going to be the centroid. And we'll go through each one of these questions here. F uh, SC is twenty one hundred, and they want us to find PS and PC. So they want each of these parts. So we're going to uh, one third and two thirds. So one third of 2100 is going to be 700. And then one third uh, or two thirds of 2100 is 1400. So that's that one there. BT is 1000. Okay, so this is 1000 and they want to know uh, TC and BC. Well, this is the midpoint here, so this is going to be 1,000 over here as well, though, since those two are the same because it's the midpoint. So we're going to have 1,000, and then the entire thing is 2,000, of course. Uh, PT is 800, and they want us to find PA and TA. So that's where that doubling is going to come in handy. This right here, if I double this, since that's one third and this is two thirds, this is going to be double that, so that's going to be 1,600. And then the entire length here is going to be 2,400. So that will help you knowing that knowing those three relationship relationships. You're either going to be cutting things into thirds or doubling or halving, depending on what they give you. We're going to construct the centroid in class. And there's the assignment. Thank you guys for tuning in.